What's going on guys, Challenge here, and I don't know how many of you guys know this, but uh, the Perfect Paradox is my favorite shotgun in Destiny history, so this video gets me super excited because it's finally back, and easily, it's better than ever before. I truly love this shotgun, and I'm so excited to talk about it. Before we talk about the god roll details, about the archetype, comparing it to other rapid fire frame shotguns and the origin trait and all that stuff, just want to mention this if you guys enjoyed the video please consider hitting that subscribe button and bell to be notified for when i do drop more content so back onto the topic and it's safe to say that the season of undying weapons have returned and they have been a blast honestly like probably the best reprisal set we have gone just my personal opinion if you guys have any personal preferences on your reprisal set that you enjoyed definitely drop a comment down below but um I'm excited to talk about this gem. Now, the only knock I will say on Perfect Paradox is that it's unfortunately not a craftable weapon. So you will have to depend on good old RNG Jesus for that great role. Also, doing Echoes activity is a great way of farming this, whether that's cashing in some of those samples you get or focusing at the failsafe vendor. That is how you get this weapon. But also, how do you unlock it? Because you need to focus it. You need to complete the Act 2 story of Echoes in order to get this drop it's a thing that sync gives you at the very end of the whole narrative with act two really enjoy the story going on for the most part but uh yeah getting this weapon pretty simple and then you could just keep on focusing it with your echoes engrams but like i said before this is a rapid fire frame so this may be a deal breaker for some shotgun hawks in pve but for me it's my favorite frame as a shotgun don't know why it's just really really good also this is a legendary kinetic shotgun so it should give you guys some solid flexibility for you when building your loadout but it's the moment of truth let's compare this to other rapid fire frame shotguns out there and specifically the ones i personally love to use so until its return is the first one on this comparison and it is a strand rapid fire frame shotgun now one thing is that it can run cascade point which perfect paradox cannot do and the origin trait unsalted hunger isn't much to talk about in a pve sense compared to perfect paradox's origin trait but just important to mention some details about that origin trait uh the Icolos shotgun v1.0.3 is a solar rapid fire frame and this one can run incandescent which perfect paradox obviously can't and then the origin trait here is rasputin's arsenal basically breaking a shield partially reloads the mag it's not as juicy as cast no shadows but also still operates the same depending on how many shields you're dealing with but again i still think the origin trait for perfect paradox is better and then last up on the list basso alstonado is a void from neo numa it has the stabilizing rounds because it is a void shotgun and then the origin trait nanotech tracer rockets leaves a lot to be desired for a shotgun specifically so yeah now with the base stats, if you guys are seeing, this Perfect Paradox pretty much wins out in the range category, which I do think is the most important in most cases. Now, the Ikelos does have a slightly better range stat, but it's only by two, not that much of a difference. Uh, reload speed, it is slightly better on that and really checks the marks on all the stuff you want to see stat wise when it comes to shotguns. It's really good and I love that this shotgun is arguably stat wise the best rapid fire frame but that's just my personal opinion compared to some of my personal favorites and obviously the Ikelos and until its return are really good shotguns too next up let's talk about all the perks as well as talk about the origin trait so here on screen is all the perks for this weapon we'll be labeling it so you guys can follow now all the way to the right is the origin trait cast no shadows dealing melee damage increases this weapon's handling and loads a small amount of ammo from reserves Specifically, this is a 20% of the magazine size. And uh, friendly reminder, dealing melee damage includes basic non-powered melee hits, which is incredible and makes this very easy to proc. And 20% of your magazine for a shotgun is a very good number and very juicy and also very consistent. Now back onto the perks. In column four, we have trench barrel, swashbuckler, opening shot, vorpal weapon, one-two punch, and barrel constrictor. Next to that, in column three, we have threat detector, slot Sideways, field prep, dual loader, pugilist, and threat remover. Now, next to that, in COM 2 for our magazines, we have a pendant mag, tactile mag, extended mag, steady rounds, acquired rounds, and light mag. And then when it comes to your barrels, guys, it is kind of personal preference, but also kind of not. I always recommend a barrel shroud or small bore when it comes to 
a shotgun. Some of the other options can uh, be intriguing. A rifled barrel with the handling is not really my go-to, but in certain cases, it may be viable, just not in a PvE sense. So. We got out all the perks. Let's talk about the God rolls. And specifically, there are two God rolls. Now, first up on the list is the more consistent, less skilled God roll needed and can pretty much operate in any way with any type of player. So first up, we have Barrel Shroud, Tactile Mag, Pugilist, and Trench Barrel. Now, first up, Pugilist, very important to mention. Weapon kills with a shotgun grant 20% of your melee energy. This is incredible. Also pairs well with that cast no shadows. You're going to be using your melee to refill your magazine. And then obviously with Trench Barrel, after a successful so melee hit you gain a 50 percent increased damage as well as 30 reload speed and 30 handling so pugilist trench barrel a lot of synergy there especially with castle shadows this god roll this version of perfect paradox is incredible and honestly it's the number one god roll but if you guys are fans of shotguns and you use many different one two punch shotguns the next god roll is going to get a lot of details a lot of complications and things like that but this one is a higher skilled more reward god roll and pretty much it's for the most part the same except for the last perk so barrel shroud pugilist tactile mag are still there and then we have one two punch but it's very important to break down one two punch because there's been some changes and some confusions with this perk so hitting all 12 shotgun pellets increases your melee damage by a hundred percent for about 1.2 seconds and this is a 150 percent increased damage against bosses and vehicles but it's really important to note that these types of melees do not count towards this buff so for hunters proxy explosive knives snare bombs tempest strikes withering blade and threaded strike are the ones that do not count for this buff for titans throwing hammer consecration thunderclap shield throw and fleshy storm don't count towards this buff and then for warlocks pretty much any melee that isn't chain lightning so you warlocks can only use one melee for one two punch which is a massive limiter but also you guys can have grapple melee which is very viable so if you are a player using combination bow or a grapple melee if you guys are banner of war titans with frenzy blade then i highly urge you guys to use god roll number two it is again a high skilled but super high reward when it comes to getting the flow and getting it to work especially in that harder content otherwise god roll number one is a great god roll to farm to get it's just less skilled and with some of that less rewards you may be getting in a fully optimized one two punch setup but um yeah these are the two god rolls very viable again really important to differentiate because certain players can really get the most out of one two punch but if you guys don't feel comfortable then nothing is wrong with trench barrel it is an incredible perk that gives you that damage increase also may have not mentioned this but um hopefully you guys can get a range masterwork but since this is tied to rng don't let this be the make or break of your god roll whatever you get handling reload speed is perfectly fine some of the other stuff may override the reload speed stuff but masterworks in this case for rng weapon should be your last worry but altogether that's pretty much all i gotta say on this weapon obviously i love perfect paradox and you guys could probably tell by the breakdown this is a very very solid shotgun in my opinion it's something that's going to be in my loadouts especially for my prismatic combination bow hunter really excited to just give it a go some more and dominate the pve sandbox with this i love this shotgun i love shotguns and pve so it's really great to see this shotgun come back with such a strong presence in this sandbox but leave your thoughts down below on the god roll and your thoughts on this weapon if you have any if you guys enjoyed the content be sure to drop this video a like helps out the video a ton and like usual like i said before if you guys want more content from me be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell to be notified for when i do drop more content but besides that i hope you guys have a good one shannon g here and i'm out